Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we calculate light by using stops. Stop! <laughs> So why would we want to measure light and what is a stop? So the reason why we would want to measure light is if we're shooting a larger project that has, for example, a lot of interviews over multiple locations. So we would like to calculate the light in, say, one interview setup so we can bring that same setup to another interview to keep the light consistent. So we can measure a four to one ratio between the key light and the fill light. And that's all measured with stops. And what exactly is a stop? A stop is basically a measurement of light. So how we use stops is when you add one more stop in a scene, you are doubling the amount of light. And if you take away a stop of light within a scene, you are having the amount of light. So let's talk about how this works with camera settings, with lighting setups, and with some filters. And by the way, this is a light meter, which I'll be reviewing next week and basically I can take a measurement here and it'll tell me that I need to be at f4 to have perfect exposure. So how we measure stops via ISO is say if you're at 200 ISO and you want to bring in one more stop of light, you would go to ISO 400. So every time you double your ISO, you're adding one stop of light. And other way around, when you half your ISO, you're taking away one stop of light. So you got 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and so forth. Every time you double the ISO, you're adding one stop of light. And same thing with the shutter angle or shutter speed. Uh, say if you're at one over 30, and then you go to one over 60, you are having the amount of light within your scene. And it goes like one, 60, one over 60, one over 20, one over 240, and you know, so forth. And I'll have all those measurements on the side here. And let's talk about aperture for a second. So aperture is just a little bit more different. And obviously with ISO and uh, shutter speed, you can just double or half it and you understand that's one stop of light. But with aperture, it's a little bit different and you're gonna kind of want to remember the full stops. So if we go from, say, for example, start at the bottom here, an F1, and we go to an F2, you would think, okay, he's, you're doubling the amount of light, that would be one stop of light. But no, it's actually two stops of light. So what you're gonna want to remember here is the full stops. So you got F1, 1.4, 2, 2, 8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16, 22, 32. So practically every time you go to a new full stop, that is one stop of light. So that's a very quick way of adding or taking away a stop of light just using the camera settings. Now let's talk about actually using you know, an ND filter and a actual light. So when talking about light distance, you have to calculate stops if you're going to move the light at all. So if we'd say double the distance from where my key light at is at right now, I think it's like three feet away. If we move it to six feet away, we're gonna lose two stops of light. So can you go ahead and please move the light back? So we're losing two stops of light. So we were at an F4 on the light meter. And if I take another reading, we go to an F2, so we just lost two stops of light. So if we calculate that, we go to a 2.8, which is one stop, and then we go to from a 2.8 to a two, which is two stops of light. So we just lost two stops of light, so what we can do is change the exposure on the camera to a 2.8, uh, because I can't go to two on this lens. So we need to add one more stop of light to our shot. So only thing that we can really do at this point is the ISO, so go ahead and change the ISO to 1600, please. And now we're back to even exposure. So let's talk about ND filters. So ND filters are a little bit strange about how they're calculated. So with external ND filters, they're calculated by 0.3 increments. So a 0.3 ND filter is one stop of light. Same thing with a 0.6, you add another stop, which is two stops of light. 0.9 is three stops of light. 1.2 is four stops of light. So every 0.3 increments, you're taking away one stop of light. So we're gonna go ahead and add a 0.6 ND filter here, and that's gonna remove two stops light from our shot here, which right now we're at a F5.6. So we should go right to an F2.8 with this 0.6 ND filter, which is taking away two stops light. So can you go from a 5.6 to a 2.8 on the camera, please? And at a 2.8, we're gonna be perfectly exposed to where we were before. Only difference is our aperture is much more wide open compared to what we were before. So we get a little bit more of our, you know, a depth of field that's a little bit more blurred out and 
it looks really nice. So that's why you want to be able to calculate you know, stops in your head and being able to understand all the calculations that go behind creating an image. So be sure to brush up on the ideas of measuring light with stops because then you'll be like Danielson. So I hope you guys found this video insightful. Go ahead and please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more filmmaking videos just like this, and please be sure to hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you have a good day.